In what are your succulent and cacti housed? If you're anything like me, then probably some sort of drab terracotta or plastic pot. While there's nothing inherently wrong with this choice, wouldn't it be nice to have a more personalized and aesthetically pleasing succulent pot? Perhaps you've tried to paint a pot for your succulent, and it just didn't work nearly as well as you had hoped. So today we're going to discuss how to paint terracotta pots for succulents, though it is worth noting that the information discussed here will be relevant for any and all plants. Heck, if you want to use the terracotta pot that you paint by watching this video for keeping change in, that's fine with me. Here's how to paint it correctly. Terracotta pots are one of the most popular types of containers for succulents, or any plant really. They're famously inexpensive and their classic earthy red coloring works well with nearly any color palette. Terracotta pots are very different from typical clay pots and they are always preferable for plants. The former is typically colored, glazed, and baked at a lower temperature than terracotta. These should really be avoided for succulents and cacti. The only downside to terracotta is that they're a little, well, boring? By painting them though, you can kiss that complaint goodbye. Perhaps the biggest benefit of using terracotta pots is their ability to absorb and dispel excess water. Succulents and cacti don't like too much water just hanging around in their soil because it can cause root rot. I won't say much more on the topic other than that you need a really well draining succulent soil, but the gist is that breathability equals good. In painting our pots, we wanna ensure that we don't lose all of the breathability of the terracotta. So we want to choose a paint and painting process that maintains breathability and provides bright pigments that can last for years. Oh, and we wanna do all of this without breaking the bank. To show you everything we've discussed so far in action, we've rounded up some terracotta pots, acrylic paint, and paint brushes. We did pick up two paint brushes, one wider and one more narrow one. Alrighty, now that we have all of our tools together, let's actually paint some terracotta pots. Step number one is picking the right paints. Acrylic paint, which is what I've chosen to use for this video, is typically the most popular choice for painting terracotta pots. It's highly pigmented, which means you'll be able to enjoy the bright colors without having to apply too many layers of paint. Acrylic paint tends to be quite thick, so it's ideal for painting designs without worrying about the paint dripping or running down the side of the pot. I had to go to Michael's because Ace Hardware didn't have acrylic paint, so keep that in mind. You can use latex paint for bigger projects because it comes in cans as opposed to tubes, i.e. you have to buy latex paint in bulk. You should be able to find any color or finish at your local hardware store. Step number two is choosing brushes. The type of brush that you paint your terracotta pots with will depend on what type of design you plan on doing. If you're just looking for coverage, a wide bristled or foam brush will work plenty well. On the other hand, if you'd like to add intricate patterns to your paint job, you'll need a brush small enough for detail work. Whatever you do, don't try a paint roller because the shape of the pot doesn't work with the paint roller and you're just asking for a big mess. Step number three, now that you have the things that you need, you need to prepare the pots for painting. Regardless of whether you're using brand new pots or repurposing previously used pots, you want to thoroughly clean them before you use them. Removing excess dust and dirt will give your paint a clean surface to adhere to, resulting in a much better paint job. To clean your terracotta pots, run them under water and gently scrub them with a bristled cleaning brush or sponge. If your pots are especially dirty, it may take a bit of elbow grease to get them clean, but the cleaner you get them, the smoother your paint will go on. After cleaning, you'll need to let your paints dry off completely. I left mine out overnight. Step number four has to do with priming. If you've done much painting in the past, you may be wondering if you should use primer on your terracotta pot before you paint it. The short answer is, it's up to you. There are a couple different factors to consider when deciding whether you should prime your terracotta pots for painting. First, there are actually products on the market specifically designed for sealing clay pots. Using a sealant will not only weatherproof your pot, but can help your paint job last longer. The downside in using a sealant is that they affect the breathability of your terracotta. One of the benefits of using terracotta is their ability to absorb and dispel the excess water. If you seal your pot up, it's going to lose that breathability. If you choose to use a sealant, you need to be more careful when watering. If you use a water-based paint primer instead of a clay pot sealant, your pot will be more breathable. You're going to lose some breathability, but not as much as if you had completely sealed the pot. A paint primer will also help your paint job pop, so if you're using bright colors, consider using a white primer before painting. The white base layer will help the colors of your paint appear more vibrant than if you had painted them directly onto the terracotta surface. You also have the choice of not using any primer at all. Not using a primer means that your pot will be able to continue absorbing that excess moisture. 
Just be aware that over time, your paint job may suffer a little bit. If you don't mind an aged or rustic appearance, not using a primer may be your best option. Step number five is to actually paint your pots. You should contain your paint mess with a towel, some newspaper, or anything that you don't mind getting ruined. I used a massive white piece of paper to completely cover our dining room table. You should also consider using a paper plate or something similar as a palette for your paints. You can also use painter's tape or anything similar to create more impressive designs. Other similar things include leaves, stamps, fabrics, etc. And the most important thing to remember when painting is that patience is key. Let each layer of paint dry completely before moving on to the next one. And step number six is sealing. Once the paint has dried completely, you'll need to decide whether you want to finish your pot off with a coat of glaze or sealant. This step isn't necessary, but it can help protect your artwork from the elements and wear and tear of everyday garden life. You can seal your pots with spray shellac, clear acrylic sealer, or clear lacquer, whatever you choose. I've chosen not to seal my terracotta pots because it's far too humid in southeastern Virginia to keep my succulents outside, so there's really no reason to weatherproof the pots. So, in this video, we've discussed what you need and how to paint terracotta pots. If you have any additional questions or require some clarifications, then comment below. I'd love to help spice up the aesthetics of your succulent pots. If you have a burning question that's pertinent to succulents or cacti, then chances are you aren't the only person with that same question. So comment it below. I'll see you soon. Happy gardening.